What's up, everybody? Doc Dog 1985. There's levels to this. All right, check this out, man. So um, I've had a few comments of people asking me here and there to make videos about Google Stadia again. And to be honest with you, the reason I didn't make any videos about Google Stadia is because I felt like I've spoken a lot about Google Stadia already as to how I felt and how I respect the technology. And shout out to my man, MM2K, for sending me a Stadia. And, and you know, he put his, his money where his mouth is and told me, like, yo, try it. And if you don't like it, then you could talk trash about cloud gaming. But unless you try this cloud gaming, don't talk trash about cloud gaming, right? Because I was talking trash about xCloud. I know you guys think I'm an ex-bot and you guys think that I don't criticize uh, Microsoft, but yes, I was talking trash about xCloud. It doesn't run as well as Google Stadia. It just doesn't, okay? But here's the deal. Google Stadia is not perfect. And one of the worst things about Google Stadia, and MM2K knows how I feel about this. I think Cowboy knows how I feel about this as well, is I can't stand their marketing. I feel like they have marketed Google Stadia extremely wrong. The best way I could describe it is if you have, if you only have a PS5 and you only have an Xbox Series X or Xbox uh, Series S and you say, and somebody asks you, hey, how many next gen consoles do you have? And you say one or how many next gen platforms do you have? And you say one, but you have a YouTube account where you leave comments and stuff or you have a Google account or you have a Gmail. You're actually wrong. You actually have two. You have access to Google Stadia for free. People forget Google Stadia is free. It really is. All, the only thing you have to do is you have to buy the game that you want to play. And I understand the, the concept of people want to own things, right? I, I get it. I understand it. Now, I subscribe to subscription services, right? I subscribe to PS Now and I subscribe to Game Pass. So I don't have a problem not owning something, right? But as of right now... If you buy something from Google Stadia, you still have it. It's, 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 it's still there. Yes, it's in the cloud or whatever. You still have it. I mean, if I buy something on my Xbox Series X digitally, then yeah, it's a little bit different. It's downloaded to my account or whatever, and then I, I have it, whatever. But it, there's people out there that are having an extremely hard time getting their hands on a PS5 or Xbox Series X. And according to what it looks like in the future, it, this is going to be an ongoing problem until 2022. So if this is going to be an ongoing problem, I think Google Stadia needs to jump on this opportunity that people aren't going to be able to get their hands on these consoles. And they really need to promote Google Stadia right. And the way that I think they do that, the very, the minimal thing that they have to do, and they have to do this, and I'm sorry to all my Google uh, Stadia fans that are out there that don't agree with me, L just listen to me. If you are already a Google Stadia stan, then you already think Google Stadia is great and has no room for improvement. I'm telling you right now, you are part of the problem. I am telling you right now, you are part of the problem, okay? This is what Stadia needs to do. Stadia needs to figure out a way to get every single multi-plat game accessible to that service every single multi-plat game needs to be accessible to stadia how do they do it i don't know if they can't do it then they're doomed they need to figure out how to do that if they want to take advantage of the fact that there's a shortage of these consoles there's not a there's not a shortage of google chromecast there's not a, a shortage of android tvs there's not a shortage of laptops. There's not a shortage of phones. So literally all these devices, tablets, where you could play Google Stadia on, the only thing that is missing are the games that people want. Obviously, you're not going to get the Sony exclusives because the only Sony exclusives that you're getting are on the Sony platform, right? Unless they're old and they go to PC, right? Xbox, you're gonna you're gonna need to have a computer if you want to get all the Xbox exclusive as well, right? Because they're coming to Game Pass and they're gonna be on on um on Microsoft Store as well, right? But as far as everything else that is you know multiplayer or whatever, you need to be able to have access to that. When GTA 6 drops, if you're a person that does not have a, a, a next generation console or whatever, and you only have Stadia. You're going to be missing out on a game like that. If you're someone that only has Stadia, you can't play Madden. You can't play... Can you play 2K? I don't think they have 2K. I think they might have FIFA. 
Um, but there's just, just too many games that are not on there. There's no Apex Legends. There's no Warzone. There's no Fortnite. These games have to get placed on to Google Stadia. Because if you do that, if you do that, then that gives people more of a reason to actually invest in that console. Because you imagine investing in this technology, but still knowing that you won't have access to every single game that's already multi-plat. The people that are okay not having a PS5 understand, already. like, I'm okay not playing Returnal right now. Like, I'm cool. I'm good. I'm okay not playing freaking Ratchet and Clank right now. I'm cool, right? My son got it, but I'm, I'm cool. I'm, it's, it's all right. It was, it was an okay game, right? But, and if, if it was vice versa, there's people that are okay not playing freaking Halo. People are going to be okay not playing freaking Forza. They're going to be over there blowing on their controllers and feeling the haptic feedbacks. That, that's what they like to do. They're going to be okay. But the the big bangers, multi-plat games, like the ones coming from Rockstar and companies like that, come on now, Cydia. You got to get them. And right now that these consoles are going to be hard to get, that's your marketing plan. Hey, you already have a next-gen console. Don't worry about not being able to get another one. Oh, and here's another one. In a few years when you're going to have to upgrade these next-gen consoles so that you could get the best efficiency, the best visual clarity, visual fidelity, or whatever. Because we know in a few years we're going to have to upgrade this stuff, these consoles, right? We agree on that? Google Stadia, you're not going to have to upgrade it. All the upgrades are happening on their side, right? So again, this is the selling point. Invest in Google Stadia and you will never have to upgrade your hardware again. And if that's not enough, you can literally play it wherever you go. So when you leave to go visit somebody, um, family trips or whatever, you will have access to Google Stadia. On your phone, you have access to Google Stadia. And it works. Here's the thing. It works. I understand for some people, for whatever reason, it doesn't work, which... I, I'm, I'm on Cowboy with this one. I, I've seen this thing work everywhere. Cowboy has videos. What's the last video I saw? I think Cowboy was like at a funeral or something. And this, watch, Google Stadia. Cow, Cowboy don't care. He going to play his Google Stadia everywhere. This, this dude, his child's baptism, he was playing Google Stadia. What I say? He went skydiving, jumped out the plane, started playing Google Stadia. A cowboy riding a horse, riding a pony, he was playing Google Stadia. He don't care. He, he'll show you that it works everywhere. Family Lake, picnic. Yo, cowboy, cowboy trip. That boy be playing Google Stadia everywhere. But anyways, the technology works. So he has a next-gen platform that he could play everywhere with whatever controller he wants. What he doesn't have access to is every multiplat game, and that's the problem, Google. I'll make another video talking about Google Pro and how they need to fix that. But as far as your marketing, Google, please fix it, especially now that you got a chance to really do some damage with the fact that these consoles, we can't get a hold of these consoles. Doc Dark 1985, there's levels to this. We out. Peace.